Hello, Taurus. Welcome. This is your magical, mystical March 2022 reading. And then I tapped into your edge. I don't know what's going on, but I feel so deep. Oof. Let's see what's happening with Taurus. What's going on with these bulls? Oop. Don't want to Let's take that one. Okay, we're starting out with four. Managing your resources wisely. Extreme in how you give or receive money, time of emotions, smart business decisions, seeing things as black or white, being charitable. Okay, so with the Four of Pentacles, looks like you have money then, if you're able to be charitable. So you're doing really well with your money. Okay, and then we have, yes, an Eight of Pentacles now. So we have, learn all you can about a subject or career, going back to school, taking a seminar, or finding a mentor, attention to detail, skill work that you love. Look how this person's watching this other person work. Looks like you might be doing all the work here. Okay. Let's see what else? I know. I guess we're focused on material, and you're coming into balance here. So this week, temperance. Um, blending the ideas of others with your own to create something extraordinary, successful compromise, the power of diversity, self-control, patience, and balance. You're bringing things into balance as far as your money career. Looks good. Let's see what's on the bottom. Ooh. And then we have the chariot. Okay, so this would be Sagittarius energy. Then we have the chariot, which is cancer energy. Rewards that come from hard work, successful balancing many pro I'm going to say profiles. Well, that could be for someone. May have a lot of profiles online that you're trying to balance them. Okay, but what it really says though is successfully balancing many priorities at once. Determination and willpower. Public recognition. And you're moving. You're going so fast, you're flying. I don't see any wings on these horses. <laughs> of course, we do have unicorns, so they're magic. Wow. Wow, this this is amazing. It feels like you're getting guided. You're getting, um, I feel a very strong protection around you. Okay, let's clarify this for of Earth. The Earth is is on um, pentacles. So if I don't say it, that's what they are. If I say Earth, okay, four of pentacles here. Five of Swords. I feel like there's someone around you giving you bad advice and it's giving you a headache. Or someone's nagging at you for something. Someone might be trying to, you, you're coming into a lot of money. Someone might be trying to get some of your money here. Five is also changes. I don't like this card. This card energy is feeling like someone is really annoyance to you. And you're being very quiet about it, but it's annoying the crap out of you. Okay, now why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Nine of Wands. So you're protecting whatever you're doing here. You might even be doing something new or something different. That you might be um very protective of it. You're working on something. You're working towards a goal here. You're doing something that you are protecting. And you're, you're um, determined for a certain outcome with whatever you're doing here, whatever you're working on. Why is um, balance here? Ooh, the Queen of Wands. Okay, you might want to be in balance with a Queen of Wands. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or someone that you're very attracted to. This also could be your energy. Having a lot of fun. Um, but some people see you as very attractive and having... Um, your fun and your work, you're able to like balance both here. Because I'm looking at this Queen of Wands having a lot of fun, and then I look at this work card. So you might be able to be able to balance your personal life and your professional life at this time. Ooh, and Ace of Pentacles coming in. So there's opportunity coming in here. It looks like you're doing quite well with your finances, your money. There might be a new job offer, a new business. You might be starting a new business. Um putting your money into that. That's what you might be quiet about too. Trying to start something new here. And it's going to do quite well with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, now let's see. What? Where's the magic? What else is the magic for Taurus here? 
Let's find out about this magic. Two of Wands. Taking the next steps, bold and ambitious choices, partnering with others who share your dreams, expanding your plans, continue to move forward. You're doing something and you're and you're looking for you can see the picture. I like I'm looking at this card and think whatever this is, it doesn't matter which way you go, but you with the two of wands, it seems like you see the picture in front of you. You see exactly how you want it to play out. Nice. You know, this is a choice card, a decision. But I feel like you're you're almost seeing it. You you know you have a choice, but I'm feeling for someone they really are seeing the picture. Ego. Okay, this would be the devil. So this would be Capricorn energy. The illusion of being trapped. Accept responsibility for your situation and then make choices that support your path to happiness. Addictions or unhealthy habits. So right now you might be trying to get um, through something that you're overdoing. It could be overworking too. Because there's a lot. This feels like a very strong uh, focus on work here. So you could be overworking. And that is addiction. It could be that. You, um, someone might be over drinking after maybe they work a long day, they might drink, or someone could be overeating, um, doing too much of something. Even maybe, I wouldn't say, like, for some, I would say sitting in front of the television, but I think you're too busy working to be doing that. So, um, it's just overindulging in something here. It might even some of you might be all indulgent in thinking about something. It's like a, a habit of. I don't know why I'm saying that, but that's what came in. <laughs> Overthinking something. To a point where it's just like ridiculous. You wake up and you think about it. You go to bed think about it. It could be your work. It might be just over and uh, overdoing your work. The Hermit. Okay. So this is Virgo energy. Time spent in peaceful meditation and meaningful solitude. Shine your light as an example for others. Seek out or become a spiritual mentor. Self-discover. You are, you are going deep within to heal, to help yourself, and um, to find ways to do things. And the bottom of the deck we have romantic, flirtatious, introspective, fickle, falling in love, being swept off your feet, a sudden love affair, a lack of balance in a relationship, situations or topics that make your heart flutter, a love of art or poetry. Well, you're coming into balance. So I don't think you have a lack of balance. And that is the Knight of Water, Knight of Cups, Scorpio Cancer, Pisces energy. Could be coming towards you with a romantic offer here. Could be any sign. But it's about a romantic offer. Okay, what about this Two of Wands? Let's get more into this. Why is the Two of Wands here for Taurus? Ooh, Ace of Swords. You're starting something new here. And I feel you're very excited about it. And I really feel like, well, maybe there is a couple of different ways to go. But I almost feel like... If you're dealing with someone else, maybe you're both trying to decide which way to go and you're you're not really have a choice yet. But I think in your mind, you know, you are divinely connected to um, the universe, the divine here. So you are getting like downloads, I feel. You are, um, and you feel it's right. There's energy coming in for you. There's something starting here. Something brand new. And you're cutting out whatever does not belong. There's also, this is truth. With the Ace of Swords. Truth is coming in about something. Okay, so down the bottom deck we hear someone's missing someone. Someone's missing an opportunity um, or looking back at an opportunity they missed or um, something that happened that they lost out on something, an opportunity or a situation and thinking on that. It could be you, it could be somebody else. Okay, the ego. Why do we have the ego here? Taurus. Temperance, see? Temperance again, balance. You're balancing things out. So whatever's going on here with the ego or whatever, I feel like you're working very hard on balancing things in your life. Patience, too, with the um, temperance card. Having a lot of patience with something. Okay, what about the hermit? Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, your finances are doing quite well. Now, this could be your energy. It could be a Tor another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I feel you're very comfortable as far as um, your finances at your home. You have a beautiful home. You like to um, decorate it nice. And you're not really worried about the money. It's coming in because you're working hard. You're working hard for it. Ooh, the star, Aquarius energy. Your hopes and dreams and wishes coming true. The divine connection here, I see, with this star card. You have a very strong connection with the divine. 
Okay, let's see. What else the magic for Taurus? Give us some more magic here. Right now, you're mainly focused on work. Ooh, the magician, you're manifesting here. Magic is alive in your life. What you need to be a success will manifest. If you believe it, you can do it. And you definitely believe it. You're very connected with the divine here. I like that card. Um, Aries or Aquarius. And we have the five of swords. An unwise choice. There's a better way that will make you happier avoid people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives i think there are people around you that you can't trust we have the five of swords up here someone trying to um i felt like they're really trying to get you to give them some money or start trying to persuade you in that way being on this card here and we'll have to clarify this to see what this is about you got some people around you that aren't too healthy and then we have the king, oh, now we have the king and, and queen of pentacles with the earths here. Compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, grounded, a time of great success, financial security and prosperity, the Midas touch, everything turned out beautifully, a supported parent and spouse, a good person to work for. So I think you are tapping in to a connection here. A divine connection, someone that is on the same level as you, thinks the same way, is very nurturing, loving, caring. I almost feel this could be more your energy. We'll take whichever way it resonates. Um, but I feel like you're very strong here, making the money here, um, doing well in your finances. You're very stable. Could be a boss here. And then we have release here. And this is endings that lead to new beginnings, a need to release situations or people that hold you back spiritual transformation so this will be the death card of scorpio energy then it's, um in the rider rate deck so there's something ending to bring in something new for you and this is the need to release situations or people this is this you have to um it's not going to be for everyone but i feel very strongly some people have a lot of undesirable people around them that are just holding them back they're trying to do their thing and this these people keep on pulling them back and may they have bad habits or they do things that are unethical or unhealthy and they keep on pulling you back in okay let's see here why do we have the magician here for Taurus? king of swords you're standing up and, and speaking your truth here very intelligent you're really um i think you're really focused on the truth here for some reason i'm just getting keep on getting told the truth there's something about you're manifesting some kind of truth here some kind of new beginning being very wise um aquarius libra gemini also could be Let's see, why do we have this Five of Air here, the Five of Swords? Oh, you have choices. And you want to make sure you pick the right choice because there's some of it is not good here. It could be lead you into this bad connection here. So um, you do have different choices coming in for you. Different opportunities. You want to take something that helps you grow. Not something like with these people here. This got a snake underneath here or, or a bat. Okay, let's see. What about this King of Pentacles? Why is the King of Pentacles here? Ooh, King of Cups. Well, isn't that interesting? We have two kings and two queens here. So now we have King of Cups. So this, um, with the King of Pentacles, I almost feel like this is your energy. I don't know. Um, being the Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces here. But and we do have here Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like you have a lot of hidden emotions, a lot of love and desire, but. Um, this also could be for someone coming towards you. I don't know. Oh, we have the Queen of Swords too. Okay, so we have the match set here. We have the match set here. There might be other people around you, but I do feel like you have a couple connections. This this connection here, you're very you connect in on a very intellectual level. This Aquarius, Libra, Gemini for these. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and then Aries. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you have all the signs here. You know what? I don't know which ones belong, which ones are you, or which one's your person here. This per this Queen of Swords, she knows the truth. She's very knowing, very intuitive, and you, you have to go to her correctly. So it could be you, or this could be your person, um, 
or someone around you and this person will cut you if they know that you are not telling the truth what's trying to sneak out over here okay the page of swords there's someone might be spying or it's, um there might be you might be learning something new here with the page of swords aquarius libra gemini a lot of um air here so um yeah, this is learning something new, getting great ideas to start something new. We might be starting some kind of new business or new going back to school, learning something. And um, right, right, look at these. I keep on this ten of wands wants to show. You're putting an end to burdens, though. You're starting something new here. So it feels like everything's going great for you guys. We got a lot of people around. Oh, you know what? I don't know which is you and which is. It. I'm going to pull the word here on each one of these peoples to see what we have for you guys. Okay. What about this Queen of Wands? I know either this is you or it's a person that you know and you'll know. Okay, let's see. Why is this Queen of Wands here? What do we got here? We have sharing, confused, and honest. Okay, so maybe someone's sharing the fact that they're confused. They're being honest about it. Or this is a very honest person. It's either you or, or your person. Okay, what about this Queen of Wands? Uh, Queen of Wands. Oh my gosh, Queen of Pentacles. Why is Queen of Pentacles here? Cheater. Gift. Apart. So, you might be apart from this person. They cheated, and someone wants to give the other person a gift. All right. <laughs> Let's see. What about this King of Swords? What do we have in King of Swords? We have. Oh, we got four on this one. Sincere. Reunite. Jealousy. Serious. So someone might have been seriously jealous, but they want to re reunite, or they seriously are sincere i think okay i would say jealousy broke you up if you are not with this person because we do have this jealousy and we have to reunite so someone seriously wants to re they're very sincere and they want to reunite here okay let's try this king of cups and oh my god we got the king of pentacles here too okay let's try both of them okay I mean, we might be together we might be separate let's see what we get thoughts Never feeling. This person might be thinking about you, but they never show their feelings. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, let's see. And I'm take it as you, or take it as your person. Okay, let's see. What about this King of Cups? Got a lot of the, the tiles for you guys today. Ooh, a tower. Something happened with this. And there's memories. And this person's spying. Or so, or you're, or someone's spying in here. So there's memories and someone's spying. And there was a tower moment. A shocking. Something happened that was shocking. But there is memories here. And so this person or someone's spying here. Okay, now let's check out this Queen of Swords. We did get the spy card with the Page of Swords. Let's see. Want... third party is likely this person wants a third party <laughs> or they they're likely there was a third okay this could be you know again with the third party it doesn't have to be someone cheated with another person it could be that someone broke someone up and we do have these five of swords that i think was really not a good energy that might have broke up relationships for you if um they interfered so Okay, third part, you know what, I'm going to have to pull some cards on that one because I'm really confused. Let me just put a couple cards and then we'll find out what signs we're dealing with. Why do we have this third party likely want? Okay, I could put it just on want, but it might be get more confusing. Let's see what happens though. Okay, lovers. This person wants this connection. It's like, oh, balancing. Yeah, third party might balance it. I love. Oh. There might be, yeah, this person might be balancing two people. And Knight of Pentacles we have here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this could be your energy uh, with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Oh my God, how confusing is this? So 
this is a choice and then you have this as a choice too and there's love someone might have a choice and there so there might be a third party someone might have to pick between two people okay i'm gonna just get one tile for this want let me see it might get more confusing let's see what we get what does this person want can you give me one to that what does this person want what is want here for TikTok. okay running out of time some person maybe they want to make a decision there's a third party there's two people to choose between and someone needs to make a decision because we do have the two pentacles and we have the lovers here so that's what could be going there let's see what signs we're dealing with because i'm getting really confused now <laughs> okay what signs do we have here for taurus gemini pisces leo Scorpio, Pisces again, and Libra. So it could be any sign, but these could be placements in your chart, placement in other people's charts. We do have a lot of different court cards here, so I don't know who goes where and who's, um, since it is general, some of these might resonate with you. None of these maybe resonate with you, but take the whatever resonates, leave what doesn't. So we have here in placements in your chart or someone else's chart, Gemini, Pisces, Leo, Scorpio, Pisces, and Libra again. Okay, guys, I hope this resonates with someone. Um, and please leave comments. I love to read your comments. And I love you guys. I appreciate you so much. Thank you all for all your like, your share, subscribe, and your comments. And I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you.